Hi, my name's Ian Gordon. I'm a professional salmon angler, former spay casting champion, and I'm a Hardy design consultant. Welcome to Two Minute Masterclass. So many people think that the double-handed rod is hard to master. In this video, we're going to look at the fundamentals of casting with and fishing with the double-handed or spay rod. Fly casting in any shape or form is fundamentally about four things. Loading the rod, the angle of the rod, the tempo and stroke length. Anything wrong with those four will compromise the cast. Loading, flexing or bending the rod as part of the back and forward cast is the single most important part of fly casting. Without this, there is no energy to be passed to the line via a stop or unloading of the rod. Keeping the rod in the same plane, track or trajectory whilst under load is also fundamental. This plane can be vertical, horizontal or anywhere between, but the key fundamental is, from the beginning to the end of each loading move, the rod stays on exactly the same plane. Tempo. The time it takes for the rod to travel between the back and forward casts. A fishing rod is extremely flexible, so all the weight of the fly line must be behind the caster before the beginning of the forward cast. Stroke length. The distance the rod travels between the back and forward cast. This is determined by two things, the action of the rod and the length of the fly line. Perfect loading of the rod is achieved only by marrying good technique to well-balanced tackle. Practice the roll cast to perfect better loading and stop of the rod. The upper hand always tracks down to initiate the load in the rod, never out. <laughs> 